Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, I will be milling some stainless steel on my DIY CNC mill to see just how or if it can even mill stainless steel because I don't know. So we will start by uh, just making a very simple program where it just faces uh, the top side of this part, this cylinder, and I uh, put in some some <laughs> cutting data uh, it was basically just guessing but uh, it was uh, too slow in the feed because i just turned it down a bunch and also the the rpms were way too low in the first thing in the first pass so then uh, we <laughs> inched up the the feeds so i uh, just increased the, the speed a bunch and also the rpm until uh, it wasn't so bad then i started to uh, increase the cutting depth slowly in a bunch of passes and uh, it got acceptable especially for this three millimeter uh, high speed steel end mill and have you ever wondered what happens if you set your uh, zero height uh, half millimeter too deep into your part well uh, this is what happens. By the way, I uh, don't have any <laughs> emergency stop buttons wired up, so that's why I didn't stop it. And as you probably can guess, this wasn't planned at all. <laughs> I just set the set height too low and the, the speed too high on the software. <laughs> so. Uh, now we at least know that the end mill can handle that, even though it probably very much disliked this, what it, what it just did. So um, I changed the toolpath so it doesn't just uh, straight up plunge down at full speed. At one meter per minute it plunged down because of some sort of uh, problem in the, in the cam that I had just didn't want it to uh, go in with a radius because then it would have completely just uh, not made a circle but like cut something out of it so I turned that off and then it went just straight down with, with the full uh, speed feed so now I changed it to a spiral cutting uh, toolpath this worked uh, much better and right here I am um, just uh, taking a skim pass around the inside and the outside diameter and uh, I think it turned out pretty well for uh, <laughs> these uh, bad speed feeds and speeds and as you can see by sheer luck um, I actually got it pretty accurate it's uh, 4.015 millimeters about which is incredible for uh, this but it's probably just luck so we will have to do some more testing to figure out if it actually was just luck, but um, we will see. And that's it for this week's video. That was all the testing I did on, on the CNC mill. There will be some projects in the future where I, or in the near future, where I will uh, have to mill some steel on this CNC mill. So the, that's why I tested it today and uh, if you have any suggestions for future videos or about this CNC mill or uh, any suggestions about the feeds and speeds of the CNC mill then uh, write that in the comments and with that I thank you for watching and until next week see ya